MTN is a cellular network operator which operates in 21 countries with large businesses in Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana and Iran. It has over 182 million customers, a market cap of 306 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 14.9 and a dividend yield of 4.3%. Paul, let me give you the platform mm. first. We know you mm -hmm. love MTN. Yeah, we like That's technology. That's why I say you're not afraid to pay for stocks that are expensive. Yeah. And interestingly, after a very quiet period for a few years, MTN's given recent indications that it may be prepared to spend as much as $8 billion on an acquisition. They're applying for a license in Myanmar, which is somewhere out there between Thailand and Bangladesh or something, China. So that's interesting. They are a great dividend payer, weren't yeah. in the years gone by. Yes, there's some concerns about their business in Iran, but the Iran issue seems to have gone a little bit quiet. There's an election coming up in Iran. I know that there are sanctions issues, but for one reason or another, MTN seems to have negotiated a bit of a sort of ceasefire with the US authorities around the sanctions about operating in Iran. <laughs> so I think it's all systems go. And remember, the strategy here is converting people from dumb phones, you know, the little candy stick phones, mm -hmm. to smartphones, so they can use more bandwidth and pay for data and so on and so forth. Yeah, I certainly think this is a, you know, from a long term perspective you've it's on the right edge of technology of where technology is going um, it's in emerging markets the growth uh, is not saturated uh, in terms of a the transition of what the existing users are but there is also scope to actually even build more users in this particular number very good dividends and I think again nice geographic spread. Uh, it is an emerging market plan. I think all the stories about Iran and these, f let's call it these funny jurisdictions that they operate in, um, I they think it's priced in. You. No, I think it's already priced in. Okay. Were, was it tempting to sell at its all-time high, Paul? Yeah, when you say it's all-time high, it briefly touched 165 Rand a share back in like 2007 when there was talk that it was going to do a deal with uh, the Indian company Reliant. That kind but of this was over around. 165. Yeah, so this is now kind of where it's at, like that sort of 170, no. 180 sort of level. It's fallen back a little bit with the rest of the market. But were you tempted to sell no, at 170? No, 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 not at all, not at all. I mean, with 182 million customers, you know, and they add, I don't know, five or 10 million customers every time they report quarterly numbers. It's a great base. Nigeria is the most exciting emerging market country for this kind of product. On the planet. 160 million consumers, you can't exactly, argue yeah. with that. Exactly, they're, they're leading in that, that, that thing. This is a com company that you can still put in the bottom drawer and still accumulate. What about its South Africa footprint? Uh, do we leave that to Vodacom, <sighs> given that... Uh, no, no, the, the, the South African footprint is actually quite valuable. It's the second biggest player. And um, if, if you take a look at how telecommunications has developed, is that you had a huge state-owned enterprise in telecom that actually dominated the market and was given legal protection. Now that's gone. Uh, it might be second, but it's second to Vodacom. Telcom's fallen behind MTN, uh, you, you know, in terms of uh, telephony in South Africa. Do and you so agree it's still with that? quite dominant. Well, I think they're all great players. And remember, they all have the option now to convert their existing tower network at marginal additional cost to the new 4G LTE technology, mm -hmm. which gives everybody a much faster connection. And it makes mm -hmm. the ADSL type solution redundant, provided you've got the backbone fiber links between the towers. So I think the real issue in South Africa, anyway, is just straightforward. It's just converting people. And the way it works is that your voice call revenue is declining, but your data revenue just takes over. Mm -hmm. So Increasing, people yeah. have got multiple SIMs, people have got you know SIM cards in their fridge at home and the television at home and the daughter's car and all the whole sort of thing. You know, So there's no end to the number of applications for that GSM technology. Chris, yeah. hot or not on hot. MGN? Absolutely. Hot or not, Paul Turan? Very hot on it. Yes, very hot. This is the hot.